And it's kind of a wild, wild west. Oklahoma didn't set any limits on the number of licenses they would issue. You can drive down the street and we've got them dispensaries all around us. And now the, the grow is exploding. We have three containers we grow in and some of these grow houses are 10,000 square feet. The big leaf plants tend to be indicas. They relax people and the thin leaf plants are sativa and they give you energy and focus. Oklahoma is known to be a very red state. The interesting thing is the number of elderly people who are interested in cannabis now, more people are accepting of it as a medicinal plant. So what kind of draws outside players to come in here is cheap land. Historically, our electrical prices are cheaper than most states by a long shot. The lax regulation and the inability of the state of Oklahoma to enforce what laws they do have. It smells really good. A little lemony. There's huge benefits we've found and we're proud of it. And we feel like we're helping somebody, but the market's just turned completely upside down. It's grown so fast and so much. The state of Oklahoma, there's no way they can ever visit all these places and check them out. You're inviting the illicit players in the game. I think the American way and the free market economy way is you allow things to thrive. You allow the market to correct itself. If your Main Street all of a sudden sees a resurgence because of cannabis shops, that's going to benefit the entire community. That money ends up in schools, that money ends up in a lot of police departments, ends up in a lot of places that actually make the community safer. It's already happening in Oklahoma. The prices are already dropping. And unless the state tightens things up and really enforces the rules, I don't think it's going to get better before it gets worse. It's a gold rush or a, or a curse, I don't know which one you call it from Oklahoma. <laughs>